Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadine and I run vlog called NadineNaturallyOnline.com and we talk about everything from makeup, self-care to natural hair. Today I'm vlogging, well this weekend I'm vlogging because I'm in Canada and it just so happens that I'm in Canada at the same time as a Mrs. Beyonce Knowles Carter. So Jess and I are flying to Toronto today. It just so happened that her concert is on one of our off days. We've got three off days in a row. So today's the first off day, so we're flying up today and tomorrow is the concert. So we are gonna see her tomorrow in Toronto. We're so excited. And so if you guys wanna see the journey, keep watching. Um, I've got some videos of buying the tickets and the process we went through and all of that was a nightmare. Um, those are all important because I filmed them for TikTok. But yeah, you can watch them if you want. And then yeah, so let's go see Beyonce. Yay! Hey guys. Hi. So we are trying to book Beyonce tickets. Um, yeah, because we decided today yeah. that we were going. <laughs> like officially. Yeah, we've been playing with the idea for months. Like, and we just couldn't bite the bullet. And then we both woke up today and we were like, speak, because we were like, okay, we're not gonna go. And then we were like, no, we have to go. So now we've made it work. Well, we're trying to make it work. We've booked our tickets to Toronto. Yay! So now we just need to book our tickets to the concert and Ticketmaster is down. Like, what do we do? <laughs> so we're stressed. So we haven't booked our return flights yet. So we're gonna wait till we get our tickets to the actual concert and then we'll book a return flight but yeah to South African girls so I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> okay Ticketmaster is back online so now we're gonna try and get back in to the site Jess is how it works <laughs> and get these tickets guys I, will, I think I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry if we get these tickets okay well, okay it's processing our order error code Something Does it make you start again? Ah! It took out my account and then it reversed it. Oh, did it? Maybe your, your bank's blocking it. Can you just double check my limit? I don't think I have a limit, but. This is stressful. This is high stakes. So, just to update you guys. Someone else got our tickets. Like, I just can't. And they were good tickets. They were really good tickets. Now like, we need to find. Ah, oh. it's okay. We're gonna. Oh. We're gonna be. We're gonna get better. Ones. That's so annoying. Well, fuck those people going. I wanna go to that row and be like, sorry, I'm very aggressive right now. <laughs> so now we're looking for other tickets. Yay. Okay, uh. we found other tickets on the other side of the stadium. Yeah, literally like the like opposite. Now we now we're trying to. Pay for them again. No, no. Stay in checkup. <laughs> Put in your CCV. Okay, well, just terms of, um, I read in terms of conditions. Double check. So, that I... uh, three and four. Okay. Yeah. And they verified Rose resale. Five. Yeah. Resale tickets, right? Is that what it said? Uh, it doesn't really. Yeah, the resale ticket sales are final. Ticket master primary vendor. Okay. Cool. Yeah, fair if I had resale tickets. Okay. Place order. It's gonna work. It's gonna work this time. We're going to Beyonce. Don't ever <laughs> take so my nervous. power. I can't. <laughs> ah! oh, these people are fucking buying these now. <laughs> Why are they buying it in the middle of the night? Well, we're buying in the middle of the night. So we are calling it a night on trying to book tickets on Ticketmaster. Um, it's just rejecting our cards because we're South African. Um, so we're gonna try tomorrow with our boss's card and see if that makes a difference. Um, and then our other options are PayPal. Um, so yeah, we are going. We're gonna get yeah. tickets. We just need go. we need to sleep. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take my makeup off because I've still got my show makeup on. And I'm gonna get some sleep. And tomorrow is another day to try and slay. Okay. This is me being super depressed at the back of the car because Ticketmaster just wasn't working with us. And then this is me when my friend told me he sorted it out. Hey guys, so just an update. Um, I'm gonna add the picture of me crying 
because my friend was able to book my tickets, our tickets, to Beyonce. So we're going. Flights are booked, accommodations booked, tickets are booked. Um, yeah, there was just the whole thing. Ticketmaster was not letting me get in. They were not letting me buy the tickets. They weren't letting me dress by the tickets. I don't know what the problem was. But it was a it was a nightmare. So I, a friend of mine who had already used Ticketmaster to go see Janet Jackson earlier this year, he was like, "Cool, let me log into my account and buy it for you." And tomorrow he's gonna transfer the tickets into my and Jess's name. So hopefully that will go smoothly. Otherwise, we do have Plan Bs if it doesn't. <laughs> um, but it looks like we're going to be on today. So guys, I'm in Tim Hortons right now. My Oreo ice cap. And I just got the email. The tickets have been transferred into, into my ticket master. <sighs> Your goal is going to be on sale. She's, go she's going to be on sale. I was telling Jess that like, this is like, I've got that feeling of like, right before you achieve one of your biggest life goals. That's how I'm feeling right now. Anxious, excited stressed mm. all at once i'm feeling all the feelings at once so stand by for videos of me sobbing at the concert i'll add those in later yeah yeah i cannot explain the goosebumps i got when i got this like this has been like a dream of my mind i love and i'm so we're leaving for Toronto tomorrow but first we have to do a show today because we still have jobs because even though Beyonce said release your job we can't because the tickets are so expensive so yeah we are going to Brandon today doing a show in Brandon and then we are driving to Winnipeg and we're staying in Winnipeg for the night yeah hey guys it's like 2am here I literally just got out the shower washed my hair at 2am in the morning I've got a blow dryer with so I'm gonna diffuse my hair now but our flight is at 9 a.m so we are leaving at 7 to get to the airport and then we're flying to Toronto for the day uh, well for the weekend um we're getting in an, a day early for the concert so we're gonna go to the pop-up store in Toronto and just walk around maybe find some outfits to wear for the show it's gonna be a vibe so that is the plan of action i'm gonna get dressed get ready for bed and also dry my hair so i don't have to sleep with a bit of hair but it's happening so it's saturday morning um we were supposed to leave at seven o'clock this morning to go catch our flight but our flight was delayed so we got back into bed and slept for another hour <laughs> which was nice and now we are getting ready to head out jess is over there busy doing a makeup um so yeah we are leaving in the next like, 15 minutes to get to the airport um it's now quarter past eight and our flight is has been delayed till like half past 12. so yeah our entire day in toronto is like squash now um but it's gonna be okay we're gonna still make the most of it and yeah hopefully this is gonna be the only hiccup it is the only hiccup so yeah so we've been waiting for like three hours for our flight it just keeps getting delayed and delayed i think it might be pulling in now thank god i'm so tired i've had like three hours of sleep finally we made it we finally got to board our plane after waiting forever after all the delays after all the stress and all those things we finally got on the plane and we made it to toronto in two hours time and yeah, so when we got to Toronto, we headed off to our Airbnb. We were staying in Mr. Oh, yeah. So we landed in Toronto. Our flight was so delayed that it ruined all of our plans for the day, which it is what it is. We live and we learn. Um, so we, we can't go to the Beyonce pop-up, which was our plan for the day. So we're going to do that tomorrow morning first thing. So now we're just heading off to a mall because it's like a half past five already. We're going to head off to a mall, grab something to eat because we are starving. Yeah, I'm hungry. Starving. I want like an a &W or something. Yeah. And then we're going to try and find something to wear to the concert tomorrow. So that's our plan. Let's go. So yeah, our Airbnb was a little bit far from everything, but because we left it so late, all the good options near the city were sold out. Um, so we went to the mall nearby and we got something to eat because we were starving at this point. We hadn't eaten all day and yeah i just got some popeyes which was disappointing as usual and then the shopping trip was also really disappointing everything was ugly 
Also, like, how funny are these, like, dupe perfumes? I had a proper giggle. And then this is me trying on an outfit choice for the concert, but it just wasn't, like, giving me the vibes. And then love these glasses. I, I should have bought them. I don't know why I didn't buy them, but I should have. And then after our shopping trip, we were like, you know what, let's go get some drinks while we wait for our Uber. So we got some drinks at this cute little place and yeah, and then we headed back to our Airbnb and this Airbnb wouldn't let us flush toilet paper. So we had to throw all of our used toilet paper in that bin. It was so gross. But then we went prepared because it was time to see Beyonce the next day. So yay. And then the next day we called public transport into the city we thought we're in the city let's see what the public transport vibes are so we took a bus and then we took a train and then we took another bus no literally it was a journey to get there but it was fun it's nice to be in a place that has working public transport and then we got to Holt Renfrew which is where the pop-up store was taking place um we got there and there wasn't a line yet because we were super early so we were like cool we're gonna stop at Starbucks quickly get some breakfast caffeinate you know you got to be ready for the day and then we joined the line we were really lucky we made it into the first batch of people in this line at my starbucks the staff were handing out waters and it was just a really enjoyable experience it didn't even feel like we were standing out there for two hours because we made friends in the line and we just had a good vibe so we're standing in line um outside the merch flagship pop-up flagship store the Renaissance flagship pop-up store, that's what it's called, at Hold Van in Canada. And we're hopefully gonna get some merch. Apparently the t-shirts we want are sold out and the fans we want are sold out. But we're manifesting that they're delivering it while we're standing outside. We're gonna be the first group in, so hopefully we get what we want. Yay. And then it was finally time to enter the Holt Renfrew department store. Like I said, we were one of the first groups in. So as we went up the escalator, they were blasting Renaissance for us. Um, it was really well organized. This is ex how excited Jess and I were. We were like, oh my God, the vibes are vibing. And then we got to go into the store. So the way it worked was that they had everything on display you couldn't try anything on but you could look at the sizes and look at the options and then you would go through to the next place where you would pay for whatever it is that you wanted unfortunately they didn't have the top that i wanted so i had to take another option and then we went to the beyonce x balmain collaboration and we got to see all of the designs that were made that were inspired by this album and it was really cool because Beyonce did that she did that and then we got our t-shirts we had to get the America has a problem t-shirts which were the white ones <laughs> okay so we just went into the merch store all the ones we wanted were sold out um, so we ended up both getting the white ones which is cool um, yeah. but they are selling merch at the venue tonight as well so I'm gonna try because Jess wants a fan. I also want a fan Loki. And I might want another t shirt. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. <laughs> so, yay! Now we're walking to a mall. We're going to try this with Yeah, we can. And because the morning was so successful, we were like, let's go to a mall, let's go shopping. So we went to a mall to go see if we could find some more things. I saw this big display screen of Beyonce it was great and then it was time to get ready this was the fit for the concert that was the t-shirt that I bought and I got these sunglasses at the mall and we were feeling the vibes our Uber driver was playing Beyonce in the car and we were just so excited so we got to the stadium at around 5 p.m. so we were super early because doors were only at 7 but I just didn't want to take any chances so we walked around made sure we knew where our entrance was we looked at some of the outfits that the girls were coming in and then we went for a walk to go find something to eat so we found this little train museum which was like around the corner from the stadium and we also found a brewery that was here that was serving these delicious sandwiches and unfortunately all that I had to drink was beer and I'm not a beer gal but I had a beer <laughs> This is me pretending to be a beer drinker, but I'm really not. And then it was time to go to the stadium. Bad bitches to the left. <laughs> okay, two, three, six is this way. Can we go see? Let's go look. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna record where I'm going in. Oh my God, 
So as you can see, I was very emotional just to see my seat. And then I got the t-shirt that I actually wanted. So I was really happy about that. And then this was the stadium. This was our seats. Really, really cool seats because we could literally see the entire stage. We weren't too far away. Um, so I could see everything that was going on from the top down. Because I'm a short girl. If I had to have standing seats, I feel like I wouldn't have been seen. I wouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sobbing by the time Beyonce actually came on stage and the sob just got more uncontrollable as the night went on. I was actually like sobbing, sobbing. Like, you know when you like go, <laughs> like you hyperventilate cry? That was how I was crying at this concert, guys. I don't think you understand how this was the moment for me. It was the entire moment. And the thing is, we've been, we've been crying for these visuals, but the thing is, this tour is the visuals. Look at this. She was giving us a show. She gave us a four-course meal. Actually, no, it was a seven-course meal. We were eating. We were stuffed by the end of it because she just gave us everything we needed. Like, I can't wait for the tour visuals to come out so that everyone who didn't go to the tour can experience it. It is so good, guys. It was such a vibe. She did everything. Like, it was like... I was watching the TikToks, but I was there in person. Look at look at this. And what was cool about the Rogers Center is that it's an enclosed stadium. So the lights are just bouncing off the roof. We were just having a good time. And then she just flew. She got on this horse and she flew across the stage. And guys, you every time you think it can't get more extravagant, it can't get more crazy, it just does. Look at her floating above the audience guys oh, it was such a magical moment i don't think anyone understands how much this meant to me but um yeah if you watch this far thanks because i'm guys we just saw beyonce like, i'm not okay i cried so many times oh god <laughs> Hey guys, so I just thought I'd come on here and do a Beyonce debrief now that I've had time to process and just think about what just happened. Um, so if you know me, Beyonce is like my everything. I love Beyonce. I get goosebumps just watching her DVDs, um, pumping her music. Her music has gotten me through everything, everything in life. Um, and I've, it's always been like one of my dreams to see her live and I've been so like I've had like anxiety about like not being able to see her or not getting tickets or whatever and we finally got the chance to see her yesterday so yeah it was a lot I cried like a baby when I saw her when she came out I was literally sobbing sobbing properly um, and basically my review of the concert is that it was everything it was the moment the tour is the visuals we we're asking for the visuals but the tour is the visuals we are part of the visuals if you go to the tour um, which is so wild it's oh it was such an experience it was so good she didn't sing single ladies she didn't do deja vu which like deja vu is one of my favorite songs and i think it would have been so great with the horn section that she has but it's fine we forgive her she just like jess and i came to the conclusion that she's got way too many bangers she's got too many bangers and she can't do a show for 10 hours straight because we want to hear single ladies you know what i mean um nothing i would change about the show costumes on point dancers are out of this world phenomenal um those dancers are crazy talented the band was amazing um like visuals the the big ass screen that she's got on stage the horse there was a giant horse that just came out for break my soul and then it disappeared you never saw the horse again 
then she rides out on a horse at the end the big sparkly horse again and then she flies over the crowd like an angel sent down from heaven i don't know what i'm supposed to do with my life now after seeing that i don't know how i'm supposed to act i don't know how i'm supposed to go on like life is normal i feel like i had like a an out of body experience i was literally sobbing crying worshiping i felt like i was i was at church the church of beyonce it's worth every single penny guys if you are trying to think about whether you need to spend the money to go see beyonce as a south african girl who just bought tickets in canadian dollars with her south african hands it's worth every penny um yeah yay i saw beyonce live <laughs>